bronze buckos bounty yo bucko it's zero come back to you with another figure of view and today we have the star wars battlefront 2 umbra operative arc trooper i'm super happy to have this in my hand because this is one of my favorite clone trooper designs let alone arc trooper designs black and orange it's my absolute favorite color schemes and I absolutely love that this is on a clone and this is the skin I would use on my ARC Troopers when I played Battlefront 2. Super stoked to have this. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. So got your Star Wars Black Series logo, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Umbra Ar Operative ARC Trooper, you got your gaming great sticker, side of the box you got that beautiful portrait, absolutely love that. He is number nine. And then the bio says the Umbra Ar Operative Arc Trooper is part of an infiltrator reinforcement unit for the Galactic Republic in the action packed multiplayer game across the three eras Star Wars Battlefront 2. You got your Battlefront 2 logo. Here's the picture again. Side of the box, Gaming Greats, Gaming Greats logo. Top of the box, you got your Dusties. Bottom of the box, you got your sacred texts. And let's go ahead and get this bad boy out of the packaging. All right. Anyways, guys, here he is all out of the packaging. Oh, man. I absolutely love him. Now, I do have one tiny little problem with him. We'll get to that in a minute. But out of all of the gaming grades that I was hoping they were going to redesign the Clone Trooper with, this is definitely the pick for me because I absolutely love the Umbra color scheme. Um, and I'm really hoping that we get that, uh, what was it? The Lambra, Lambrant Sinker. I can't remember. I, I don't know how to say it, but really hoping we get that variation soon because I love, I love both of those designs, but yeah, this is, you know, when I'm not being bronze bucko, um, this is my color scheme, black and orange. Now, I don't know how well the camera is picking that up, but that is the one problem i have with this figure is the orange is a little too yellow i don't know if that's going to be a problem across all figures uh for the people that have this in hand it seems like this is the color with that it's gonna be but i don't know if the production is going to show a different you know different color variations or whatever but um i thought i was going to be really unhappy with this lighter version but yeah so it, it's pretty nice so would i still prefer that darker orange probably um if i do find the darker orange one i will definitely pick that one up but we don't know yet maybe and the only reason i'm saying that there might be a darker orange one is because it looked like on the pictures he's going to be a darker orange and even in the game he looks like a darker orange but on camera here he looks pretty nice so whatever i'll just live with it for now and who knows and if you have a if your umber trooper looks the same let me know in the comments below anyways go ahead and dive into this bad boy's accessories now in terms of accessories he only comes with his dc 17 pistols he comes with two of them and that is it it's the normal sculpt on both of them it's in the it's in this really um you know that kind of like gunmetal gray the dark gunmetal gray it's pretty nice um but yeah same pistol we've been seeing a lot lately those do go ahead and holster respectively into his holsters on each side now speaking of the pistol, he does not come with a pistol gripping hand for his left hand, so yeah. At some point that is going to get knifed, exacto knifed, I'm going to make him a trigger finger because that's a little annoying. But he does hold... But he does hold the other one very well so if you just want to have him in a pose like this you shouldn't know you shouldn't really have a problem with that maybe we'll just like 
oh he has good t trigger discipline or something i don't know but yeah pretty nice now no other accessories i mean i think you could pull the backpack off but it is glued on so i'm not going to try that and his helmet is also glued onto his head so oh well but moving on to the actual figure itself now you can see it is the same exact mold as as echo um yeah no difference yeah i mean it even has it even has uh you know the face mold under there i actually wonder who, which clone's face is under there um but yeah the backpack his backpack's in the blue his in the black so i'm glad that they at least changed that um yeah it's just same exact figure though i am noticing that the it seems like the plastics are different on everything except for the pauldrons and the comma um it seems like the plastics are a bit different so where echo looks plasticky or more you know rubbery he looks more plasticky it looks it's a better material so you can just go ahead and pair that and you'll notice just just small little things just if you want to compare um but yeah other than that same exact mold and everything the commandos that we are going to be getting at some point they do have slightly different molds um, between commandos and hunter but we'll, we'll have to see what they exactly look like when we get them but enough of that he's beautiful i mean like his face looks amazing absolutely love how all the paint is now normally the paint that kind of like you know unpainted look would annoy me on other figures but it works perfectly here because it works with the design so they did really good on matching that kind of like weathered look for the paint it looks amazing and it looks really good here um but yeah it does it kind of wish it was that darker orange i'll still wish it was that darker orange you know kind of more of the realm of her orange if you could even tell a difference but yeah that's kind of what the orange i was hoping to get but oh well still an amazing figure um he even got paint all the way down on his boots so they got some really nice paint detail here very clean yeah all around I even yeah i love that the little black uh whatever that is the I, what is that like the grappling the little darts i don't know i don't know what that is yeah super awesome figure here's the back of him just one more time he has no paint underneath and um besides that let's just go ahead and get into articulation so his head is on a ball joint goes up not too far down that far you know okay-ish range of move I, it, you're not gonna get a great movement out of him he is an arc trooper especially with this pauldron so oh well you just get your down and up so not great movement um his range finder you know to typical articulation there he does have a butterfly joint in there unfortunately i think the same thing with echo um can't really get the shoulder to go in too far without ruining it so oh well or i think you can i'm not sure i'm not gonna mess with it so yeah and then you got a single jointed elbow swivel and you got a hinge at the wrist goes in and out for his left hand and you got the up and down for his right hand for aiming purposes ball joint at the torso pretty decent range of movement then you got legs for forward not too far because of the comma Ooh, that's a interesting sound yeah not too far because of the comma um not too far back because of the comma you get your thigh swivel 
single jointed knee, which I'm starting to dislike. This uh, new ver variation knee, unfortunately. I wish they would, you know, that's, that was the nice thing about having double jointed knees. They got a hinge at the ankle, a forward facing pin for rockers. Now we're going to show him off next to some other figures. So here he is next to the new Stormtrooper and Echo. And here he is next to Boba and Mando. And here he is next to Obi-Wan and a Clanker. And as always, here he is next to Luke Skywalker Squawker and old Left Limbs. In any ways, this is an absolutely awesome trooper. Love the paint job. I just wish it's a little more orange, but honestly, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe this is the right color it's supposed to be. And um, yeah, it just kind of it sucks just a little bit that we're only getting pistols for the accessories. I mean, I guess that makes sense because that's what he uses in the game, but it would be cool if they just threw in the accessories that Echo had just because. So, yeah, just getting the two pistols, oh well. But anyways, absolutely love this guy. I cannot wait to get more clones and ARC troopers, especially in the gaming greats and beyond. So, only the future tell will tell what we will get. If you guys like this, hit that like, hit that subscribe. And as always, you could bring them in warm or you could bring them in cold. Thanks for watching and good hunting. Bam, bam, bam.